Well, since I'm sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, obviously, for a train to go by so I can take some pictures. Came down here earlier, waited about an hour and nothing, went home. Obviously, I heard one go by at home. I heard the whistle and everything go off, so I came down again. And I figured I'll try again. Hopefully, I can get something. But, like I said, since I'm waiting, I might as well give you guys an update on what's going on with the car and the situation and all that. Obviously, I'm sick right now, too, so that's why my voice sounds sh like shit. And I sound like shit. But I got a call from them on Thursday and it started off nice and all that. Um, then she started giving me the rundown of what it's going to be for the settlement. And they, uh, they offered me a lot less than I should have gotten, if you ask me. And they tried to throw everything. Like, the insurance companies are pure scum. They're pure scum. I don't care how nice your adjuster or whatever, whoever you're dealing with, I don't care how nice they are to you. They're all scum and they're literally just trying to save the company money and not help you. They don't give a shit about you. So just remember that. Next time they're all nice on the phone, they don't care. But told me a price that I wasn't too happy with and I told them that I wasn't happy with that and she tried to say that the appraiser said my car was all beat up and in rough condition and it was all scratched up and yada yada all this all this fucking bullshit like does this look beat up to you I'm gonna show you a few pictures does this look beat up to you does this look beat up to you does this look beat up to you all the videos that I have of me washing it constantly, doing work to it, made, maintaining it. Are you kidding me? Go fuck yourself. Anyways. After all that, she said, well, prove it to me that, or prove it to us that we're giving you less than what you are owed or what you think you're owed. And send us three pictures or three links or whatever I I don't even know or I don't remember what she said I'm just gonna send her three pictures for now and see what she says but of proof that those cars go for a decent amount of money so <laughs> I went on marketplace and I found three examples right away I found I think two black or no, I, there was a blue one that is sold now, but I do have the link. It shouldn't matter if it's sold or not. It's still proof. That went for 6500 I think. I'll post the pictures of that, I guess. And then there's a black one that's also 60... I think it's 6450 if I'm not mistaken. And then there's a, a red one. And this red one actually was in, is in worse shape than mine. And it's going for 65 or 7. One of the, I don't remember. You'll see them when I post the pictures up. But the rear wheel wells are all rusted. Mine had a bit of rust back there, but it was manageable and I could fix it. My plans were to fix it when it got warm out. So I'm going to send them that. See? Or tell them, see? There's your proof. And then I'm sure they're going to try some other bullshit with me and... I don't know. I gotta do something though because I only have this rental car until February 28th and it's the 18th today. So, basically a week. I haven't found anything. Anything reasonable at least. I want to find something certified already so I don't have to worry about the bullshit of getting it safety. That's what my other car, what my Civ, or my Civic. I'm looking at a Civic right now. I drive by. That's why. That's what my Ultima was. I bought it certified. It was perfect. All I want is just a replacement of what I had. I didn't ask for this accident to happen. I didn't ask for my car to be rode off. I didn't ask for her to run the stop sign. Why am I getting the shit end of the stick here? Like, it's unbelievable. 
but I don't know little story I guess and what else was I gonna say I don't know I don't remember just a lot of bullshit uh, shady ass people around here Um, anyways, yeah, that's about it before I use up all the memory on this card. Actually, no, that's not it. I was going to say, just want to replace it. And there, I can't find anything of, like, with remote start, like nothing. So, they're going to have to reimburse me for that. Aren't, like, aren't they supposed to pretty much, like, they're supposed to help you out, but they don't. bastards and all the new parts that I just put into the car like I can't get those back but I'm gonna I don't know I guess I can send them the receipts of everything so some of the receipts though are in the truck that's in storage right now so they'll have to wait until April when I can get the truck out of storage and get the receipts out of the truck and send them the receipts and because I'm pretty sure that's where the receipts for the spark plugs are. But, I don't know. I'm just sick of it. I hope things start working out eventually. Wish me luck.